Hello and welcome to the People's Third Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update as of January 27th, 2020. Well, today we find out that President Joe Biden orders the DOJ, Department of Justice basically, to not renew contracts with private prisons. And then, do you support the senators? The two Texans in the U.S. Senate who have called for the impeachment of the former President Donald Trump as vindictive? We're talking about uh, Ted Cruz and John Conan that are coming out against the whole impeachment of Donald Trump. Twitter has suspended my pillow CEO Mike Lindell, an avid Donald Trump supporter, from its platform after the months spouted discrimination about the 2020 elections. Oregon GOP claims the capital attack was a false flag to Dems. Wow, a false flag. Let's, let's get into that one here. The Oregon Republic Party made a basis claim that the January 6, 2021 capital attack was a false flag operation designed to discredit President Trump, his supporters, and all the um, conservative Republicans and to give shame uh, motivation to impeach Trump. Wow. So basically, the January 6th attack on the Capitol was, they're saying, was a hoax or a false flag. In the um, resolution released on January 19th, 2021, Oregon Republicans claimed there was a growing evidence of the story through the provided, which was provided none, basically. The party claimed that the false flag effort was support efforts to pursue new domestic terrorism legislation such as outlawing donations to government's designated terrorist groups. Oregon Republicans backed their false assertions with articles from uh, Fringal Media, sorry, with, from bad media outlets like the Epoch Times, Just the News, and the NPJ Media. They also cited the Wikipedia entry for uh, the fire claiming that the capital attack was executed to advance the democratic goal of seizing total power in the frightening parallel of February 1933 burning of the German in, in Germany. So basically they're saying that this whole um, capital attack was perpetrated by the Democrats. Well, we know that wasn't true because why would they be inside the Capitol? Well, the Republicans are telling people exactly where everyone's located at. And then we also have the um, U.S.'s first black vice president sworn in, swore in the first black defense secretary. So basically our vice president, Camilla Harris. Uh, voted in a uh, swore in the first black defense secretary. I like that. That's pretty cool. There's progress. Um, as of now, you are allowed to travel outside the country, but stay, starting on January 26th, which was actually yesterday, you will be required to have a negative COVID 19 test to get back in. Celebrities and politicians are defending actor Seth Rogen after he called out Senator Ted Cruz. Republican from Texas for his alleged role in the inciting the deadliest capital insurrection earlier this month. Cruz was one of the 147 Republicans who voted to object to President Joe Biden's win even after the riot. Let's hop on to the good old stimulus news for you guys, see what our politicians have in store for you and me and everyone else. <laughs> Senate Majority Leader uh, Chuck Schumer said he would bring a resolution to the Senate floor as soon as next week. This would be a starting point for um, to using the um, Reconciliation Act if the Democrats wanted to to use the past stimulus. But they would need a so they would need a simple majority to win the vote. However, Republicans are criticizing using reconciliation to pass stimulus because. It would leave Republicans out, and Republican po Republican Senator po Rob Portman actually had this to say, and I'll actually pop up exactly how to say it right here.
And then also Republican uh, Senator Mitt Romney from Utah had this to say. We all know Joe Manchin is opposed to getting rid of the um, filibuster and reporting and reporting so is Senate majority Senate minority leader Mitch McConnell. For the Democrats to get rid of a the filibuster, they would need all Democrats on board with this. But the only problem is Joe Manchin as well as what other Democratic senator are against getting rid of the filibuster. But obviously, Biden's first legislative legislative order in Congress is to pass the $1.9 trillion stimulus package. Yeah, they're supposed to be putting that on the floor next week. And I'm not exactly sure everything that's inside it, besides what I've already uh, quoted to you guys about what's inside it, about the $1,400 stimulus checks, the, the ex <clears throat> extended unemployment. The, I think they try to put more uh, extended as well as boost up unemployment for for those people that are on it and i think more eviction protections but i'm not exactly sure yet as well as a lot of state and local government funding but the thing is is how the uh, democrats are going to play with this play on this because they know they won't get the simple majority vote on this for several aspects of the plan and on the income uh, threshold they are Thinking about thinking about leaving it the same as it was on the CARES Act, which is seventy five hundred dollars for adults, one hundred and fifty thousand for uh, married couples. Plus, Democrats are reintroducing the fifteen dollars an hour federal minimum wage, but they face some very hard opposition on this one, and that would be the Republicans. They're still saying that it'd be hard on small businesses to succeed if they pay fifteen dollars an hour. They've already said that seven twenty five to seven fifteen an hour is a starving wage. Even anything from ten to twelve dollars an hour is the exact same thing. It's a starving wage. That was actually one of uh, Bernie Sanders' ideas to so use reconciliation to pass the fifteen dollars an hour minimum wage. But as far as any additional stimulus news I got for you guys goes, that's that about covers it all. But if you guys like my content, please hit that like button and subscribe button. And turn your notifications on, you get more of my interesting news for you guys. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I will broadcast again to you guys when I have more relevant information to provide. Thank you. You have a great night.